Good evening my local drones, it is I, Bo Gundam, and I'm back in for another video. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video on the book series Demon City Blues. So, do you like urban fantasy, which is dark and mysterious, or do you want to read something that runs on pure cool? Well, love no fear, I have the book series for you, and it's called Demon City Blues. So, Demon City Blues takes place in the same universe as Demon City Sinjuku, you know, that classic 80s anime that old school old school retro fans like. You know, you know it's, it's based on a novel, and the novel was written by the same guy who did Vampire and Day, so you know you already know it's gonna be fun there now however since most of the books in the series aren't translated into English and my Japanese isn't of the level where I can read them properly yet uh, I can only base my impressions on the first two story arcs that have been translated into English so far as of this video uh, Malden and the Yashika the Demon Princess story arc so the plot of Demon City Blues is very standard 80s 90s you know episodic anime plot it is the episodic adventures and escapades of Setsuo Aki and Dr. Mephisto in a world where supernatural forces such as vampires demons psychics and whatever the fuck else is running around along with hyper advanced technology like cyborgs power armor and advanced weapons that would, that would be every gun nuts wet dream come true while this is very standard fear for anyone with any kind of experience with media from the 80s and 90s what gives the setting of demon city blues its charm is the dark gritty rule of cool nature the setting is pre presented in descriptions of the dark and blood soaked streets of shinjuku the description of the fight scenes with mystic and psychic powers on full display and that which is inhuman both in form and nature moving on to our two main protagonists Seth Setsuo Aki and Dr. Mephisto are both cool and intriguing. They are not heroes of justice with high morals out to save the world, nor are they villains who use their talents and gifts to make the world burn. Rather, they are a morally ambiguous bunch who do what they do for money and to keep the status quo for their benefit, um, to a lesser extent, for their various customers and clients. Their good looks and ability set them apart from the norm as well, as it makes you question who or what exactly they are. Both of them have a rather stark and almost enormic aspect to them, which gives them this very seductive quality that charms both you and the reader and the people who encounter them, which honestly just makes you wish to find out more about them. The artwork in the novels was done by artist Jun Sumini, um, and uh, the artwork is very striking with the very dark lines, the very like striking poses, and, and it just it, it just looks at it just looks like something from the 80s and 90s. Like it's just very cool, and it just helps you get immersed in this very cool as fuck setting. Now, in terms of content, there's everything cool about 80s and 90s media rolled into one. You've got sex, war galore, cyborg ninjas, mystic magical bullshit, firearms that are as cool as they are impractical, and main characters who are on some sort of grind set as well. Why this hasn't been fully translated to English yet, I have no clue. But I guess people just don't want to read fun things anymore. But if you want to, if you want to read a novel and you are sick of like rom com or isekai shit, go read this if you can. It's a very fun read, and it's a series that'll keep you wanting to read more. In terms of stuff that happens in it, just to list a few examples of some of the crazy shit that goes on in the series. In the Yashikin story arc, for example, we have vampire blood orgies, missile strikes, massive killing sprees in both a hospital and a police station, and nuclear bombardment. Okay, maybe I'm being slightly hyperbolic with that one, but crazy shit happens in these books, and you should read it and enjoy the ride. Now I, w now I will mention that while the high level of graphic violence and sexual content of the books may not be everyone's cup of tea, um, and the series itself based on what I read on is full of that stuff, and while the series has some interesting ideas and concepts it wishes to put, um, convey to people, most of it is there for purposes of rule of call. So if you're looking for something in depth you're not going to find it here, however at the end of the day this series is Pulp Fiction, and for Pulp Fiction it's pretty good for what it is, it's just a fun read, like it's just one of those books that I, I, I myself can't put down, and, you, you know if you're, if you're a fan of like, um, if, you, if you're a fan of Hiyuki, you, you'll like this. Like, if you like Vampire and the D and all that shit, you'll definitely like these books. Anyway, this is Bio Gundam signing off, and I'll see you for the next video.